Mirrors have always been fascinating objects, allowing us to see reflections of ourselves and the world around us. The formation of images by plane mirrors is a fundamental concept in physics, offering insights into the behavior of light and perception. To better understand this phenomenon, a simulation can be created that takes into account three key parameters. The distance to the mirror, the length of the mirror, and the source of the ray. This simulation will provide a visual representation of how these factors influence the appearance and position of images. By adjusting these variables, students can deepen their understanding of the principles governing plane mirrors and image formation. Understanding Plane Mirror Image Formation A plane mirror is a flat, smooth reflective surface that creates images through the process of reflection. Unlike curved mirrors, a plane mirror does not distort the image. Instead, the image appears upright, of the same size as the object, and is located at the same distance behind the mirror as the object is in front of it. One of the intriguing aspects of plane mirror image formation is its predictability. No matter where an object is placed in front of the mirror, its reflection appears as if it exists behind the mirror at an equal distance. This fundamental principle is what allows us to use mirrors for everyday applications, from personal grooming to complex optical devices. The role of distance in image formation. One of the primary variables in this simulation is the distance between the object and the mirror. By adjusting this distance, one can observe how the position of the image changes accordingly. When an object is moved closer to the mirror, its image appears to move closer as well. Conversely, when the object is placed farther away, the image seems to shift deeper into the mirror. However, despite these changes in position, the size of the image remains constant. This characteristic makes plane mirrors different from lenses or curved mirrors, where image size and orientation can change depending on distance. Through the simulation, students can experiment with different distances, visually confirming that the image is always located symmetrically behind the mirror. This reinforces the concept that image distance is always equal to object distance in a plane mirror, a principle that remains true regardless of the object's position. Exploring the impact of mirror length. Another crucial parameter in the simulation is the length of the mirror. While we often take mirrors for granted, their dimensions significantly influence what can be seen in the reflection. A person standing in front of a small mirror may only see a portion of their body, whereas a full-length mirror allows for a complete view. By adjusting the mirror's length in the simulation, students can observe how the reflected image changes. A short mirror restricts visibility, cutting off parts of the image, whereas a longer mirror expands the field of view, allowing a complete reflection. This visualization helps learners understand why, for instance, dressing mirrors are typically taller than standard bathroom mirrors. Additionally, the simulation can demonstrate the minimum mirror length required for a person to see their entire body. Many students find it surprising that a mirror does not have to be as tall as they are to provide a full reflection. Instead, a mirror that is at least half their height is sufficient. This insight can be an engaging revelation when students see it in action through the simulation. Adjusting the source of the ray. The third parameter in the simulation is the source of the ray. Light rays are responsible for image formation, and the way they interact with the mirror determines the final perception of the image. By changing the source of the ray in the simulation, students can observe how different angles of incidence affect the reflected rays. When light rays strike the mirror at various angles, they reflect in a predictable manner, following the fundamental law of reflection. This law states that the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. However, while the principle itself is simple, seeing it in a dynamic, adjustable simulation allows for a deeper, more intuitive understanding. For instance, if the light source is placed directly in front of the mirror, the rays travel straight back, creating a perfect, symmetrical reflection. If the source is moved to the side, the rays reflect at an angle, altering how the image appears. Such variations help students appreciate how mirrors function in real-world applications, such as periscopes, optical instruments, and even artistic illusions. The value of simulation in learning. Physics is often best understood through visual representation and hands-on experimentation. While theoretical explanations are crucial, interactive simulations allow students to experience the principles in action. This makes abstract concepts more tangible and engaging. The ability to adjust distance, mirror length, and ray source in the simulation provides students with an opportunity to test and observe the effects of each parameter. 
Instead of merely memorizing facts about plane mirrors, they can experiment and see firsthand how images form under different conditions. This interactive approach fosters curiosity, encourages critical thinking, and enhances comprehension. Moreover, simulations eliminate the limitations of physical experiments. In a classroom setting, it may not always be feasible to provide every student with multiple mirrors of different lengths or set up precise ray experiments. A digital simulation, however, allows for infinite variations and adjustments, enabling students to test scenarios that might not be practical in a physical environment. Real-world applications and broader understanding. Beyond academic learning, understanding plain mirror image formation has practical implications in everyday life. Mirrors are used extensively in vehicles, architecture, optical devices, and even in advanced technologies such as laser systems and scientific instruments. For instance, the placement of rear view and side mirrors in cars is based on the principles of plain mirror image formation. Knowing how reflections behave helps drivers make accurate judgments about distance and positioning while driving. Similarly, the strategic use of mirrors in security systems, telescopes, and medical imaging devices all rely on the same fundamental concepts that students explore through this simulation. Additionally, the concept of symmetry and reflection is widely applicable in artistic fields, such as photography, painting, and even stage design. Understanding how light interacts with surfaces allows artists and designers to create realistic reflections, enhancing the depth and visual appeal of their work. Conclusion Simulating image formation by a plane mirror provides an engaging, hands-on way to explore an essential physics concept. By adjusting the distance to the mirror, the length of the mirror, and the source of the ray, students can observe and analyze the effects of these variables in real time. This interactive approach not only deepens understanding, but also makes learning more exciting and memorable. Furthermore, the practical applications of plane mirror image formation extend far beyond the classroom. From everyday activities like using a bathroom mirror to advanced technological applications in engineering and science, the principles remain the same.